AI deepfakes are taking over the internet. And consumers have to be careful, because what, what you're seeing, seeing may not, not even, even be a real, real person. person. The internet is the wild west right now, and deepfakes are everywhere. Companies like Disney are racing against each other to ban or restrict AI's ability to create deepfakes and generate recreations of their work. You may be scrolling through uh, sports content and all of a sudden see the interviews of LeBron calling his son trash or Curry hating on his teammates, but none of it is real. To help you through these confusing times, here's a guide on how to tell deep fakes from real videos. According to Merriam-Webster, a deepfake is an image or recording that has been convincingly altered and manipulated to misrepresent someone as doing or saying something that was not actually done or said. At this moment, the large majority of deepfake videos are consisting of a single person talking with their face and particularly their lips digitally altered to match several lines of made up speech that are being said. Often programs will intake both an image and a video of the original person talking in order to understand how their lips and facial features move so that when taking the different sounds of speech, they can move them accordingly. For example, an ah, a, or i sound will involve a larger, wider mouth opening, whereas an oo or u sound will be a smaller mouth. It's actually the same principles that can be applied when 3D animating speech, rigging a model's mouth and upper face to bend as each syllable is said. Therefore, paying attention to the face is the key to discerning real from fake. The body is typically extremely similar to the original video, after all. The first trick, therefore, is to pay attention to the lips, specifically when larger, wider expressions like laughing are expressed, because the deepfake may struggle to move the cheeks and wide parts of the lip accordingly. Sometimes the timing of the lips will be just out of sync for a half second. More often than not, the lips will move too much as opposed to too little, and vowel sounds will be made as the teeth and lips are moving or touching, which just doesn't add up. Another tip is looking at the texture of the skin itself, especially at the forehead. A lot of the times when we move our eyebrows up, our skin on our forehead starts to wrinkle, similar to how our cheeks wrinkle when we smile. Does the video match that consistency? Or is it not wrinkly enough or too wrinkled? This is why deepfakes often struggle to adapt to older folks. They have too much texture and detail in the wrinkles to create convincing deepfakes. Often their skin is too smooth or too shiny. Therefore, monotone speeches or interviews are easier to deepfake because this detail isn't as easy to point out. The next major key is lighting. The way that AI replicates lighting is by associating different parts of the body with key colors. So the lighting on top of someone's head may be bright, but unnaturally stick with them or go away with them when they move. Look at this deepfake of Morgan Freeman. And what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. It's pretty good, right? Pretty convincing. The only catch is that right here on top of his head, you can see the lighting flicker as he moves his head. The AI just can't quite nail that element. This is the reason deepfakes also tend to have trouble adapting glasses or glass elements with glare, because a true recreation of complex lighting is difficult. Often glasses will either be too flat with no glare or have too much glare and look too bright as the person moves around. You'll notice that many of the elements we've pointed out so far get toggled by movement. When a person moves, the model has to account for lighting, textures, clothing, the background, the facial features, everything changing. If a person stays still, then it's a little easier to adapt. So therefore, that in itself can be a clue. If a person is staying too still, if they're too stiff, if it feels like their, their face is locked to the center of the video, too unwilling to move, that may be your key that it's a deep fake. After all, humans move when they talk, when they express emotion. It's unnatural to keep one's head totally still. And our last tip is much more boring than the others. Double check. Did this person really say that? Find a credible source on the internet. Don't be gullible to random posts on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. Ask yourself, is this a trustworthy source? Anyone can post anything on the internet, so try to be careful out there. Often people will use deep fake personas as opposed to speaking on camera in order to create a figure, a personality to tie a video to. If you're interested in how they're made, I'll show you how to create one. Go to Kapwing. You can start this feature for free actually. Click get started and create new. Head down to AI voice and here you can choose from a multitude of personas to say whatever you want. Go ahead and fill in this text box with whatever you'd like them to say. 
click update layer and it will translate the speech to the timeline down here. Once you export the video, the lips will also be synced with the text. So it'll look like this person is really saying that speech. And here's the final result, a deep fake persona that's capable of saying whatever you'd like to your audience. And that's all we got for you today. Thank you for watching. Tune in for more AI content updates, like and subscribe, and well, bye.